Your haircut's nice. Thank you. Yeah, it's cool. You know, I'd always rather sleep a bit more than spend yeah. too much time. Definitely. You know. And uh, here's some, <laughs> some cream. Milk. Free clothes. Okay. Good one. That's insane. It's insane, right? Yeah. Hi, Alexa. Hi. Oh, you look nice. Thank you. You're probably used to like folk camera teams and yes. things like that. But yeah. I did make you some uh, Alexa Chung. Wow, cards. so pretty. <laughs> Maybe that's my new logo. I was thinking, if yeah, you need like, any... Yeah, because lilac is kind of our colour. Yeah, Very I figured. Nice. Are they for you or for me? They're for me, oh, but okay. I also have some extras for you. Are we in frame? Yes. Maybe focus on you a little bit more. The hair twin, just for <laughs> representation. I am in Paris with no one other than Alexa Tje. <laughs> En we gaan het hebben over haar carrière, over de stijl. En ik wil natuurlijk weten hoe ze dat fantastische haar doet. Want als er iemand daar verstand van heeft, dan is het deze dame. So I have to ask you Your about... haircut's nice. Thank you. Yeah, it's cool. This is the conversation. It's like Stevie that... Nicks a bit. Oh, thanks. No? It's cool. Yes, I think so. The feathering around here is good. I have to admit that you're on a lot of my Pinterest. Board, I am? So it's a bit stalking. Oh, great. Yeah. We've kind of got, yeah, yeah. So similar. In my dreams, we have similar hair. So I googled Alexa Chung hair this morning. Mm -hmm. And how many results did you think that oh, that's a good. that's a good question. Um, 20,000. 94 million. No! Yes. <laughs> yes, it's what absurd. What are you talking it's about? It's probably more than Trump. Yes, it is. <laughs> It's insane, right? Whoa! Yes. So what do you think is this obsession with your hair? Where does it come from? Do you get it? I had dinner with a friend the other night and although kind of not my friend because this is what she said to me. <laughs> she said, I, she said what are you in town for? And I said, oh, I'm doing L'Oreal Professional and we're here for a few days with mm -hmm. a party. And she said, for hair? And I went, yes, for hair. <laughs> she was like, oh, I think it's because your hair is like really normal. So it's like aspirational, but it's also approachable. Okay. And I was like, Okay, Thanks, I, I, I thought guess. I had really special hair. Okay. <laughs> and what do you do in terms of styling? I think everyone has to know what you do with your fringe. And... Yeah, the fringe. I uh, the fringe is always at different lengths. I've never I've never found fringe maintenance that difficult. But I think it's because my hair is quite like flat at the front, mm -hmm. so it just sits like that yeah. normally. But I understand I have friends with curly hair or thicker hair, and it falls differently. What do I do? I wash it every day. Great. Condition just the ends so it doesn't get yeah. greasy at the top. Brush it, wait for it to dry, and then when it's like still a bit damp, I like go like this. With your hands. With my hands, and I twist it into yeah. like two little buns, kind of like a bit like Bjork in the yeah. 90s. And then I Princess pin it. Leia kind of. Exactly. Yeah. And then I pin it, and then I wait for it to properly dry. If I want to speed it up, I might hair dry it. And then when it's done, I like let it, it out, and then it goes. Like Windy. Yeah, well, not today. Today, someone did my So hair. you are quite low maintenance then? Not on purpose, just because, yeah. um, you know, I have, you know, great admiration for people that can do a full thing in the morning, but I prefer, I don't really sleep very well, so by the time I've fallen asleep, if my alarm goes off, I probably have only had like another two hour nap. I do like naps throughout the night. Okay, intense. And so, <laughs> uh, you know, I'd always rather sleep a bit more than spend yeah. too much time. Definitely. You know, if the alarm goes off and I'm like, oh, I've got an hour to get ready, I'm like, mm. yes. Do a bit more. And you're the new face of the L'Oreal Parisian line. I am. Tell me a little Parisian bit. Parisian nudes. Nice. How yeah. is your French? It's all right. It's not fantastic, but I am. I love France and I love French people, so I'm always trying to learn more. So okay. I can communicate better. Can you tell me a little bit about these Parisian shades for hair coloring? What's cool about them? What do you What's like about it? cool, I think, is uh, it's in line with my sort of um, idea about style in general, which is mm -hmm. I think you should sort of work with what you've got. So rather than like you know aspiring to be someone else, it's always better to just enhance your natural beauty, and that's kind of the um, same concept behind Parisian nudes. So then we do that one, and then we've also got Pro Fiber, which is an amazing hair treatment. Here's one. Yeah. Oh, nice. Um, but Great you can person. thank you, <laughs> hand to hand. And uh, here's some, some cream. <laughs> Um, for your ends, maybe? For the ends, yeah. And are there hair colors as well? Is it a coloring product? Yeah, yeah. so it basically kind of um, illuminates the lighter part notes of your hair mm -hmm. and then like uh, deepens the or makes it richer in the dark. Yeah, areas. so it's all about adding a subtle contrast. Exactly, yeah. Nice. And 
people obviously feel inspired by you in terms of hair and 49 style. 49 million. I know. It's insane, right? Maybe it's like 30 it million and they did it twice. No, it was 94 million. Oh my god. That's I don't even know what's next after that. Like a billion? Yeah, I can't, <laughs> I can't count. And, and what do you look for when you're putting together an outfit or even a collection for your line? Mm. Uh, I'm always uh, interested in juxtaposition, so I think things are always more interested or interesting when there's a counterbalance between mm -hmm. them. So, if something's very feminine, then I'm likely to team it with something quite masculine in terms of tailoring with a dress or a yeah. flat shoe with a short skirt. So I'm always like looking for a balance between masculinity and femininity and I think that's probably the same with hair because as much as Jane Birkin or Francoise Hardy are my icons, so is Mick Jagger or David Bowie, you know? Yeah. It's always an interesting, yeah. uh, something that's not really easy to define. That yeah, exactly. And is there maybe one piece of clothing that really ties your wardrobe together right now? Something that we maybe should invest in or that you're excited about? Something pinstriped perhaps? Well this is a good example of what I just said because this yeah. is a dress that we made and it's like business yeah. tailoring fabric, wool kind of pinstripe but it's mm -hmm. in a prairie silhouette. Yeah. So that is appealing that's to exactly me. That's exactly what you mean. Yeah. yeah. So that's kind of your Unexpected signature. thing, yeah. yeah. And as a new designer, what is something you didn't expect about running your own business? Because you've always worked hard, obviously. I've always worked hard. I didn't expect uh, it to be so emotional. Okay. Because a lot of the challenge, the challenge actually isn't necessarily creating things or, you know, I have fun in the office and it's, it's great. But actually the challenge is communication and other people's, you know, learning to be diplomatic and take care of other people's feelings is yeah. kind of the main thing about business I think. Yeah, so having to care for everyone. Yeah, because I was used to read magazines and it would be a profile on a successful businesswoman or whatever and you were like, ooh, and it seems really mathematical or something yeah. or like they've got a great brain. But actually they're probably more than that, they're just good at um, human interaction. Yeah. And what makes you most happy about having your own label now? Free clothes. Okay, good one. Free <laughs> yeah. clothes that look exactly as I want them to look. That was the idea. That's pretty awesome. Yeah. But I still feel spoiled yeah. actually. So I do an order of my own collection yeah. and then it arrives. And it arrived in Hampshire when I was at my mum's house because there was an order mess up actually. Mm -hmm. And so all these like nine boxes of clothes were there. And nice. I'm unwrapping them in front of my sister and my mum. And I felt so like guilty about all the stuff being given something that I made. It was yeah. really weird. It was a very strange thing. And you wear it straight away. I did actually, yeah. Nice. Mm -hmm. And do you have one last tip for girls trying to make it in this industry? Uh, my tip would be, um, you know, now more than ever, people are looking for a unique point of view and mm -hmm. someone with a strong voice that really knows himself well. So I would say my tip would be to listen to your instincts and to value your difference as being something that's intriguing to other people rather than trying to join the crowd or be someone else. Like, I think I'm all about, you know, enhancing your own natural vibe and celebrating your quirkiness. Quirky. <laughs> I think that's a good ending. Yeah. Thank you so much for Thanks your time. Thanks so much. Merci. Merci Thank beaucoup. <laughs>